Does vitamin C boost your immune system? The answer coming up. From the last episode, we have gone through cough treatments. This is part of a series of videos talking about treatments for COVID, the flu and cold symptoms. Today, we are specifically talking about how to boost your immune system. So how do you boost your immune system? Number one, eat lots of different types of fruits and vegetables because they are filled with micronutrients that helps you keep a healthy immune system. People who may need vitamin supplements are people who eat really poorly, pregnant and breastfeeding women, people who consume alcohol in amounts over the recommended level, drug users and the elderly. Overtaking multivitamins when your body does not need it can be harmful for your body. 2. Enough sleep When we do not have enough sleep, your body immune system weakens and you get sick easily. During sleep, your body releases a type of proteins called cytokines, which is important to help fight infections, inflammation and stress. Sleep needs vary from person to person. But most adults need 7 to 8 hours a night. Teens need 9 to 10 hours. School age kids need at least 10 hours. Preschoolers need 11 to 12 hours. And newborns need 16 to 18 hours. Number three, having a positive mindset. Emotions, believe it or not, affect our immune system. When we are happy and positive, our immune system increases and fight infections better. Number four, exercises. Regular exercises lift our mood and this improves our immune system. Regular exercises also helps reduce the risk of us getting heart diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, dementia, and many more other diseases. Now, frequently asked question, does vitamin C help boost the immune system? There was a study conducted with two groups of patients with a code one group was given vitamin C daily and the other a placebo pill daily. The group of patients who took vitamin C on average ended up getting better faster by half a day. Everyone have different opinions on this. I will leave it up to you. I personally take vitamin C as well every day for other reasons. So how about the other supplements that claims to boost your immune system, such as olive leaf extract, Echinacea, Zinc, Sambacus, Andrographis, Manuka honey. Do they help in boosting your immune system? In order to say a yes or no to this, we need to look at the results of clinical trials. And there are many ranking in clinical trials, starting from really biased, poorly conducted, small sample sized trials, usually conducted by people who will profit from the sales of the products to strict non-biased, big sample size, well-controlled, expensive, double-blinded clinical trials. One thing you will notice a lot of the results of these supplements, the conclusion by the scientists would often be, although there are some evidence this may work, more research and studies have to be done. The fact is, some people do genuinely find these ingredients work, but others don't. And the ones who do see results may or may not be experiencing a placebo effect. So as a conclusion, does these ingredients work? My answer to this is, it may. So if you decide to take these, please check with your local pharmacist if it is contraindicated with whatever conditions that you have got or if it interacts with whatever medication that you are already taking. And please do stick with the recommended dose because all of these comes with side effects as well. In the next episode, we will be talking about how to treat hay fever where sneezes, runny or blocked nose, and itchy watery eyes are main symptoms. This is a COVID cold flu and treatment series. Please hit the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss out on any of them. Please do give me a thumbs up. I will also be putting out more health related videos to help improve your health. I do run a second channel where I put out my original music and entertainment videos. If you are interested in it, I will put a link down below for you. 
Let me know what other questions you have, what other videos you would like me to make, or if you would like to share any of your experiences or thoughts, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. It's your pharmacist Sunki here. See you around.